Sharing things on social media is as simple as a few clicks, but sometimes danger lurks behind an innocent looking post. Five News reporter Ian Taylor shows us why local law enforcement is sounding the alarm and what you should do to watch out for it. Features like Facebook Marketplace are convenient tools to find items you might need or are interested in at a low cost and nearby. But they have also become outlets for hackers and scammers to chip away at cybersecurity, oftentimes leaving victims wondering what happened. No crime is victimless. Captain Philip Peavy House with the Sebastian County Sheriff's Office says these types of scams aren't uncommon. The Sheriff's Office is issuing a warning on Facebook, highlighting a new trend. Scammers creating innocent looking posts on Marketplace, then going back to add phishing links once they've been shared. You need to make sure that you're very careful. What are you sharing? What are you willing to share? And in the process, answer the same question. What are you willing to lose because you shared? One way of luring people into sharing a post about a missing pet, missing person, or a deal that's too good to be true. If I don't act right now, it's going to be too late. Is by creating a sense of urgency. Online, though, is not the place to act urgently. It's the place to act vigilantly online. And you need to take care of yourself and you need to be very cautious. According to the FBI's annual report from 2021, Arkansans fell victim to scam related crimes resulting in more than $15 million in losses. So how do you know what you see and share isn't malicious? Authorities encourage you to check for misspellings, report any posts you think is suspicious to the social media platform you are using, Search for the original post or photo. Never click a link directly and hover over any link to see where it's attempting to send you. Those behind these phishing attacks and scams look to gain access to banking and credit card information. Sometimes you won't know you are a victim until it's too late. But if you are a victim, there are still ways to get help. The best thing and most proactive thing you can do is immediately contact your financial institution. The second thing they're going to tell you is you need to contact your local law enforcement agency. In Fort Smith, covering news where you live, Ian Taylor, 5 News. The FBI and Sebastian County both say a large number of these crimes are not even reported. By reporting what happens, it can help you and even track down those responsible.